This is my first time on your live. Watching all the way from Chris. Oh, thank you. Welcome, love. Welcome. You, I will love it there. Oh, okay. You a trainer? No. <laughs> my sister is a fitness trainer. I'm far from a fitness trainer. I eat right. I eat healthy, but no beautiful voice. Oh, thank you. Come to Atlanta. I come and visit sometimes. I come and visit for parties and stuff like that. That people gray shirt. <laughs> thank you. That people invite me to South Carolina. Okay, okay. That's pretty cool. Well, I just moved from New Orleans, Louisiana to uh, Arizona. I moved to Arizona, and so that's a different uh, climate for me. I wanted a different atmosphere. I wanted, um, you know, to be around this higher frequency energy, this sun. Oh my God, the sun here, the dry heat. I really like it in comparison to the humidity in New Orleans, in comparison to the constantly um you know hurricane season rebuilding houses and you know i hope new orleans will always be home to me you know and i still have family there but i just wanted something different but i've never been to um pennsylvania before that's very very interesting to me but i just came on for a little bit to talk about attachments you know because in my journey of evolving you know like um like, like just even with this move, for example, you know, there's friends that who I was attached to and, you know, family members that I was attached to because, I mean, attachment is for seeing them every day and maybe being related to them because we come forth, you know, through the portal of our mother and coming forth through that particular portal. <laughs> That's really just it. Even me having children, I understand that, you know, my children use me as a portal and their journey is really their own. <laughs> and so in the spiritual walk, it, it seems like it's the most challenging thing to release attachments. Yeah, your husband is a lucky man <laughs> to release attachments. And so thank you. Thank you. And, um, with that being said, you remember like how in the biblical text, you know, the allegory text about Jesus going away and then when they found him, he was like, don't you know, I was about my father's business. And I break down that text and I think it and apply it to myself. And I say that there's a moment in the journey where those attachments, you have to release them and know that you are connected to all to have that union with the superconscious it's like your subconscious and superconscious are creating a union and so you begin to realize that you are connected to all and this is why in the text also it says i and the father are one and so in in the allegory text jesus would say take here this is your mother this is your brother you know anyone who does the will of the father and so i look at that in layman's terms as the people that are vibing on your frequency you know those people become the extended family per se not that you're disowning your family not that you don't want to talk to them not that they did anything wrong i'm not saying that i'm not saying no drama and all that what i am saying though is that you resonate with the ones that are on the same frequency as you you feel so connected with them. When you see them, you notice them. You notice them not by their physical, but their aura, their energy, their inner God, their inner essence. And so, like, on this journey, anywhere you go, anywhere, well, for me, I'm speaking really personal for me, anywhere that I go, and, and, and it's, it's almost like I'm just magnetically drawn to the person that's going to help me on my next chapter in life it's a beautiful thing once you release the attachments and not be so clingy to that that old environment that old state of being you know even like just with this move it's like so many people told me you know this is really bold of you i commend you for doing this because a lot of people like to stay in that same environment that same attachment per se and a lot of people don't really be wanting to dare to be different in certain areas of their life but when you do, oh my God, you, it's like there's another family, there's another chapter, there's other connections, it's, there's another tribe of people, of experiences, of love, of, of, of consciousness. <laughs> 
waiting for you when you dare to do something different, when you dare to explore yourself, when you dare to get out of your box. You know, we all have this little box and, you know, and I'm saying, when I say a box, I mean your mental, your subconscious, the way that you think, your program. And so our box really all individually, all of us have a limited box, you know, our limited thinking, our limited thinking rather. But meanwhile, outside of that box, there's a boundless universe waiting for you to just step into it and explore and go down the rabbit hole and allow for expansion in your life. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, Damon, divine warrior. Oh, I love your accent. Oh, thank you, babe. Hey, a civ civilian. You're right, my youngest daughter is so attached to me. Yeah, and you know, and you know, like I do consultations and stuff with people and don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong that, that um, I'm not saying, you know, it's not normal per se to grieve and all, but you know, when somebody like pass and stuff, and I've had close people that pass, even dealing with attachments of that and some people cling so much. So that that's, that's why the grief process be so hard for some people because they clung so tight. When really, if you back up just a little bit and realize that all things are connected. Like right now, I'm standing in this kitchen right now and I have a mother, like, right? I have, that's still in the physical reality. But actually, she's really not, um, she does not exist actually until I give my attention to her. So right now, I'm not present with her. So she really doesn't exist, right? Until I see her in the physical right but in my mind where all creation exists me just thinking about her me just feeling her presence right now hey hold up she does exist you see you can look at it a different way she does exist i can feel her presence right now because really and truly love is a thing that connects us all just because of the fact that i have love for her she's connected to me and she's here with me right now and it goes the same for those people that passed on in our journey I have a sister that passed on in her journey already. And so if I want to feel her essence, all I have to do is think about the love that I have for her and her essence is here right now. And this is why when we talk about attachments and we talk about missing people, it's, it, it's equivalent to saying, okay, you're not in alignment with yourself. Because if you are in alignment with yourself, you can't miss nobody. So when you feel good, when you feel happy, when you feel love in your heart, you can't miss nobody. So for those people that are grieving, they're, they're grieving because that attachment is there. They're grieving and they're staying, they're staying at a low frequency. They're staying down there where they are experiencing on purpose an absence from that particular person. But it comes a day when the grieving lessens and they start feeling better and then they begin to carry that person with them in their heart and then they can transform that energy and they can realize wait love connects us all and then that person that same person that was grieving they begin to feel like they got an angel with them well why is that because they came from that low frequency state of mind tapped back into love tapped into stop to, to, to the void of uh, missing into abundance and realize that they carry that person with them and so there's no need for attachment so just like how we talk about the ancestors per se they walk with me they talk with me so the ones that pass like my sister like my grandma they, they with me right here on this live with you because it's, it's the fact that love is the thing that's connecting us all and there's an illusion that there is anything that is separate from us when we're all together it's just one god and one faith one baptism and we're all together singing the same darn song in the physical reality but we just got this illusion of separation <laughs> We got the illusion that you over there and I'm over here. <laughs> when when we, we could we could also realize this when we're having a thought, like I'll post something on TikTok and I'm way over here in Arizona and somebody probably way out there in Atlanta and Pennsylvania or somewhere, and then they'll comment on my TikTok from my thought that I had and they'll say, Oh, I was just talking about this. Oh, I was just thinking about this the other day. Oh, I just told so and so that. So basically, we even in each other's head mentally because really, it's all thought. 
it's all thought and it's really just one thought one big super conscious ball of thought <laughs> so i get it here in in arizona somebody get it in pennsylvania somebody in texas get it somebody see you could still hear us we got this illusion of separation thinking that we need the cell phone but prior to the tick to the top the same thing was going on we just starting to come together we're just starting to remember that wait a minute wait they got people out there like me they got people out there moving to the same rhythm of my beat <laughs> that's how powerful and cool and amazing we are Let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. Hey, warrior. Hey, funny. <laughs> Sierra, so, so right. That is why the scripture says to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Yeah, I forgot about that one. Yeah, it's the same concept. Yeah. Me and the Father are one. Yeah. Yeah, it's so beautiful. It's a beautiful way to, to look at life when you're dealing with, you know, separation from people you know because like this move for me it was so emotional oh my god it was so emotional you know before i um announced it to everybody man i was like in in the office you know because I, I announced some retirement um and i knew it was coming and, and i was nervous about it but before i hit the email i was getting hot and i was like nervous and i was like oh my goodness because i was like attached to what i did for 22 years i was attached to going to certain places i was attached to the people in my old neighborhood i was attached and we get these attachments but it's so beautiful when you can break free from the attachment but still carry that that energy with you and know that you're connected to the all and know that no matter where you go the universe is your home and you came forth for expansion for thrills and chills of expansion for realizing how powerful how amazing you really are <laughs> And God can be God anywhere, and we can be, do, or have anything when we put our mind to it. It's such a beautiful thing when you expand your mind. And even, even so, also beautiful is when you can be alone with yourself, the quiet moments in life, like probably before you uh, drift off to sleep and you, you know, that moment away from your your um, partner, maybe he's taking a, a shower or whatever, or maybe when you get off from work and you just sit in the car in the parking lot right before you go home, or maybe before you leave out for work, right, when you open up your eyes, before you pull those covers off to put your foot on the floor. Just that alone moment in your mind where your thought is such a precious moment, <laughs> is what I'm saying. For you to see and, and, and make sure that this here inner being is okay. This inner being is okay. It's so important. It's so important to pay attention to those thoughts that you have in, in those quiet moments of life because they'll let you know. They're letting you know your signals. It's so important that you pay attention to the dreams that you have at night because your dreams that you're having at night are really you telling you what well, you're not vibing right in the physical reality. You know how we be having those dreams about, you know, snakes and, and you know, drowning and, and running from something, some fearful dreams or whatever. Well, it's really revealing to you because your dreams are always going to be about you. It's really revealing to you what kind of frequency or, or um, you're vibrant, vibrating on in your physical reality. It's really revealing to you when you got a little wobble going on, you know. So, so what you're running from in life is what it's saying. So, what kind of what kind of deception or what kind of backside uh, stabbers you have in your physical reality that you're trying to get away from? It's all about you and your journey. Because it's it's almost like it's your higher self saying, okay. In a dream, in a vision of the night, I'm going to give you your order, your instruction, and I'm going to put this here in your dream. So when you wake up, you can clear this here. If you don't clear this here, this negative energy, you know, it's going to keep on manifesting in your physical reality. But then when you go to sleep at night and you're having those peaceful, lovely, and blissful dreams, and, and you know, the ones that are sending you down the rabbit hole for expansion, then you know, oh, okay, my frequency is on point. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And then you get more of that in your physical reality shows you that your dream what your dreams just showed you as well and so now you're in a better balance but if you have those nightmares and people coming to get you and the devil visited me last night kind of dreams you gotta ask self because self always has the answer self is the subconscious mind why am i afraid what am i afraid of 
show me my fears, you know, and then it'll, it'll come to you. It'll come to you in a thought. It'll come to you in a day because you God all by yourself. You don't need to really seek people outside of self for, for what's going on inside of yourself because you know the answer already because God never asks himself a question that he or she don't already know the answer to. <laughs> I do consultations and I open them welcomingly, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, everybody that I speak to, they know the answer. Some people just really be needed somebody to talk to and, and ease it in it. And maybe some like-minded energy that been on that particular path like they on already. And it, cause it's, sometimes when you try to vibe, you know, when you like this lower frequency, not too many people on that frequency that can resonate with how you're feeling. So maybe it, it feels really good to talk to somebody that kind of like been there, kind of like on a high frequency or where you're going or somebody that knows how to maintain that frequency a little bit better than you at that moment because you know that you're still wobbling you're wobbling because you have all your reflections down here that are on a lower frequency and they're getting into your head through thought they're getting into your head through the fact that you're just trying to figure this thing out you're kind of new to it so it feels refreshing to talk to other people but at the same time all of you are god <laughs> all of you all have a kingdom of god in you all of you know your answer all of you are hooked in, into infinite intelligence too you know Anybody has an innate ability to tap into source energy, that's when they're ready, that's when they want to, you know? And I look at it like, you know, we all have this alarm clock and we all set our alarm clock for the time that we want to wake up. And so that's why oftentimes, you know, I'll come here to talk to people, but in my physical reality, I don't go and extend myself to people who don't want to hear, hear what I have to say. I don't, I don't um, throw my curls amongst the swine, so to speak. I come here where there are people that have the ability to just keep on swiping if they don't want to hear what I have to say. <laughs> I want to inspire the people that want to hear what I have to say. And I'm going on the path and the journey where I am going to. You know, because everybody got their long clock set. And they're going to wake up when they want to. And so you sit up there and you could be talking to them people about health and wellness per se. And you finish talking to the people. You know, you outside of you that didn't want to hear what you had to say anyway, and you talk to them about health and wellness, they'd be like, Well, all right, girl, I'm, a, I'm about to go get me a pork chop sandwich. <laughs> and then you feel some kind of way because you're like, What? And I was just talking to you about health and wellness. What do you mean? So, so that's why I don't, I don't, I don't really mess with the, with the people in my physical reality as far as you know how kind of like church people come ringing on your doorbell Saturday morning and all that. No, 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 let them people sleep. Let them people slumber until their alarm clock go off. And then when their alarm clock go off, guess what? They come to you. <laughs> Just like in a biblical text, they say, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto you. So it's like, if you increase your frequency, if you get in line with who you are supposed to be or do or have in, in alignment with your passion, then the people gonna come to you. You ain't gotta go knocking on no door talking about, come on, let's go to church or Jesus saves and, and prepare for the rapture. No, no, you ain't gotta do that with nobody. They come to you willingly. They come to you, they come crawling to you just trying to touch just the hem of your garment so they could be made whole. They come to you. And so that's what our inner man, our energy, when we vibing on a frequency of Christ consciousness, should be doing, drawing people to you. No matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, you just have this aura about self. You just have this free, peaceful spirit, this energy, this inner God self that draws people to you. When they need help, per se, when, when they want to be around somebody that's like-minded being or whatever that particular lesson is they come to you that's a beautiful thing let me see let's see let me see if i'm missing comments here yeah that's beautiful okay yeah i have a lot of bad dreams and can't sleep good yeah because there's something in your physical reality that's been missing you hey Safana, i haven't seen you in a long time i love your energy thank you i appreciate that babe yeah, so the bad dreams is letting you know there's something in your physical reality that's disturbing you. So you clear up what it is in your physical reality and then the dreams are going to stop. So if, if, like say for example, you're having dreams about being chased or whatever, 
you know, what, what, what's, what's, what's running, what, what in your physical reality you feel like it's just following you everywhere you go. You, you just put it in layman's terms. Okay, it was chasing here. So something is bothering me. Something is following me everywhere I go. Is it a maybe lack of money? Is it, you know, maybe relationships? What, what, what is following me? What is repeating for me? You could, you could interpret, the, interpret that thing yourself and you give it meaning because you're the person that knows. Just like when we go to the doctor, you know, the doctor don't know. That's why they ask you on a scale of zero to 10, how do you feel it? You know, then they give you a prescription. Then they ask you, well, how did that work? Well, maybe we should try this. They don't know. You know. <laughs> you know. And you have the answer because you know everything. Because at the end of the day, you are tapped into infinite intelligence. God or source energy, the kingdom of God resonates in you. <laughs> so people outside of you really, I mean, we, we use them and if they're purposeful, we use them to kind of get to know ourselves a little bit better, but when you really, really get real on that journey with yourself, you cut it off. Because even in my journey, you know, I, I used to go to Barnes and Noble and sit there and I would just read. I would just read books all day, all weekends, you know, when I was in that place in my journey on my Fridays and Saturdays when everybody wanted to go hang out at the clubs and all. I had spent my days in Barnes and Noble already reading books all day, so I didn't really want to be bothered. I just wanted to relax at night. I stay home at that time and just watch BET and go to bed. <laughs> I looked for things outside of me. I looked for books. I went on YouTube and I found on YouTube Dr. York. I used to listen to him. I used to listen to Abraham Hicks. I used to listen to um, Lisa Nichols, um, Dwayne Dwyer, um, who else I listened to? I think that's mostly it because it was really deep. And um, it came a point in my journey, and I read all kinds of books too, you know, all the Bible books, you know, the Dead Sea Scrolls, the, the um, Book of Enoch, and you know, the Egyptian hier hieroglyphics, all of that stuff there. But it comes a point in your journey when you read and you digest all of that stuff and then you put it away. <laughs> you won't even want, not that reading is not good, not that I don't want to read it anymore or be rebellious about reading, but you want to figure out self. You, you won't hear all of what other people no more kind of say no more. You want to figure, okay, I want to apply this thing to me. I want to rightly divide this word of truth in how it feels to me and in my body. And then you get hold with that place or that state of being within yourself. I'm not, I'm not whole based upon what, exa for example, Abraham Hicks says. I'm not whole based upon what Dr. York said. I'm whole based upon being in alignment with my inner being. And how do I know that I'm in alignment? Because it feels good. <laughs> it feels good. It's, I use my emotions as an indicator to let me know if I'm in alignment or if I am not. And that's how you should know. When it feels good, you do that. You do that which feels good to your soul, to your higher being. Because here's the thing, we come forth in our physical reality in this particular avatar as 0.01% of ourselves. The larger part of ourselves is still in the spiritual realm, which we might call our higher self, our aura, whatever you call it, it is in the spiritual realm. And its percentage is 99.999. It's tapped into all knowing infinite intelligence. It is in perfect alignment. It never leaves alignment. This is why it, it and you feel some kind of way when you are not in alignment with it. So what I'm saying is, if you are not vibrating, vibrating on the frequency of love or joy or peace or bliss or whatever, you know, good feeling, feeling you could think of, like your spiritual essence is in the non-physical, then you are going to feel some kind of way. This is why we say, I feel sad. I feel sick. I feel tired. I feel dis-ease. You are feeling dis-ease because you are not in alignment with that spiritual essence. Here's the thing about your spiritual essence. It is not going to come down here into your frequency. It's not going to come down here to your level, so to speak, to get you up here. 
No, it must maintain its alignment in the spiritual realm. And you must step up to it. So that means you got to jump. You got to move. You got to increase your frequency to get in alignment with it. So how do you do that? You pay attention to the way that you feel along your journey. And this goes for when you're trying to learn something from people. And if it don't resonate with your soul, if it don't sound good, because like, I'm not trying to shade at anybody if they have any Hebrew issue lights out here. God is all, and I understand that you are on a journey too. But when I was on my journey, I did stumble across some of those videos from the little, you know, Hebrew Israelites, you know, the people that be on the corner talking about, you know, the white people, who, white women, they're going to get raped now because it's their turn. They're going to get treated like the black ladies was treated in this say slavery time. And they be yelling at the people and, and telling them that they the devil and the blue eyed beings, you know, you got to be in this tribe and all of this here. I listened, I digest, I did not judge, but at the same time, my inner being felt some kind of way, like, uh, I don't know if that goes like that. <laughs> and because my inner being gave me a feeling that was not of love and joy, that that didn't resonate with me, I moved on. And so I suggest you, when you get a feeling on your spiritual journey that does not resonate with love and peace and don't feel like a connection like you listen to me right now, if you think that I'm telling you something that don't resonate with your inner being, you're going to feel some kind of way. So if you feel some kind of way, please save you some time and get off my life. Go in peace on your journey because that means you're not vibing with me. But if you resonate with the things that I'm saying, for those people, they'll come and they'll be like, oh, it's something about you. Oh, where are you from? And oh, oh, and T, and this and that and the other. It is because their inner being is telling them, hey, 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 th this is the way. Yes, that feels good. Do that. Yes, keep on listening to her. Yes, keep on learning from her. Yes, this is the way you go. You're going to be with her for a season and then we're going to introduce you to something else that's going to feel good. But for now, I want you to listen to her. That's how you grow on your journey, by paying attention to your internal GPS system. And you, you gotta listen, you gotta, you gotta pay attention to it because it'll, it'll, it'll be talking to you. And, and, and some people, we all have this internal GPS. Some people just ignore the hell out of their internal GPS until they don't even hear anything no more. And then they start asking, well, why I don't hear anything? That's because you ignore the hell out of it. <laughs> That's because It'll tell you, it'll tell you sweet things. Let's not be too profound. Let's say simple things. Like for example, you're leaving for work. It's sunny outside, but something said to bring your umbrella. And what you really thought to work anyway. I don't need no umbrella. That something said was your internal GPS. Then you get to work, now it's storming, and you say, oh man, something told me to bring my umbrella. <laughs> But you just ignored it. You're driving and then something said, get off at this exit. Let me go, let me go see what, what, what Calvin doing, right? You, you, you decide, oh, I ain't got time. I ain't got time to be talking to Calvin. Then you keep going, you get in the accident. You keep going, you, you, you end up in traffic. Then Calvin call you later on and we, man, I was on the bridge, I was gonna come and see you, Calvin. I wish I would've, because since I didn't come and see you, I ended up in an accident. <laughs> I ended up stuck in traffic for four hours. I could have been talking to you, man. Me and you could have been chilling or whatever you do with Calvin. It's that voice. It's that inner itself that I'm talking about. And if you listen to it, if you take that exit, if you bring that umbrella, it gets louder, that voice. It gets louder and louder. And it gets to a point where it takes over. <laughs> it takes over. And then now you wide walk. Then now you super conscious. The subconscious is connected to the super conscious. Now, now you just could look. You could be still and know that you God. You could just look at things in your inner being just talks to you. Like I used to go, I used to go to the park. I used to go to the park and I used to try to do my little lives on YouTube at the park. And I remember this was my last day that I was at the park, like it was yesterday. Cause I was at the park and I had this, um, you know, the little dry erase board with bullet points because I knew this, this particular TikTok was going to, I mean YouTube was going to be long and I wanted to cover these particular bullet points, right? 
And so the, um, the camera was here, then the um, dry erase board was here. And so I can see the rest of the park, you know, on each side of the dry erase board. And to, on this side of the board, I saw this black man walking. Now mind you, I'm trying to do a YouTube video at this moment. <laughs> and I see this man walking from afar toward me. And my inner being told me, showed me everything that was going on with this black man, right? Because your voice gets loud, you know? And, um, you know, church people call this here voice the Holy Ghost, right? Anyway, my inner being talking to me, telling me this man, this man is having nightmares. He's having a rough time sleeping at night. It's clear as day, the voice, you know, it's like a picture and, and you know, you could, it's like you're reading, you know, the picture, the scene or, or whatever that's going on with his life, right? And he drinks a lot and it was telling me that, um, that he, he's longing to some, for somebody to talk to, you know, and um, he's fearful and he's at the park to soothe himself and to calm his mind. And I'm getting all this information from my inner being and, and so this is me. This is just the physical me, right? I said to myself or my inner being, okay, but I'm doing a video. I really don't want to know about that. I really, I really, I really, <laughs> I really don't want to know about that right now. You know, because I was in the middle of a video, right? I really don't, why, why are you telling me that right now? I don't want to know about that right now. And so I'm still talking on the video while I hear, while I'm hearing all of this just stuff going on with this black man that's walking at the park from a fork. And so I got back into my video, and next thing you know, right behind my, my uh, dry erase board that I had is this black man. And his head comes on the side of my dry erase board. He's like, hi. And I was like, oh. Then I started packing up. <laughs> I started packing up. I was like, okay, I didn't come here to do the video, to finish the uh, video. My inner being sent me here purposefully to talk to this particular man. So I just packed up everything and I was like, okay, this is gonna be a little consultation here because I was just interrupted to talk to this particular man. But that's how loud the inner being or the voice becomes once you pay attention to it. Instead of ignoring it, you pay attention to it because oftentimes it's, it's, it's it's putting you in a position to be a blessing to other people. It's putting you in a position to um, to learn and grow for yourself because you're always winning, you know? And so for me, mine more than anything puts me in a position to be able to help because I, that's, you know, from my journey to help others. But while I'm helping those others, at the same time, I'm helping myself because I'm expanding. I'm growing and so also it tells me things for my manifestations too it shows me people that are in alignment and people who I need to connect with and so even though I connect with other people that are in alignment you know where, where I am going in the journey that I'm on it's lessons for me too it's growth for me too because I'm not mm, I'm open to infinite intelligence. We're all vibrating on a different frequency, but I'm still here on a journey too, just like you are. If I was supposedly not on a journey, you wouldn't see me in physical form right here. I'll be in the spiritual realm where you cannot see, but I'll be speaking to you from that place. So I'm on a journey too. It's just that some people just more open to this voice, more open to consciousness, more determined to walk their path, understanding that this physical reality is a game, it's a game of life, and I came here to play this thing. I'm not going to sit here and be pulling on this here tree and waiting on this here person to wake up and trying to shake this person and reset this alarm clock for this person to wake up with me. No, it's my journey. It's a journey about my unfoldment. Now, I'm going to have fun with all of my reflections, but what I am not going to do is allow any of my reflections to stop me from evolving in my life. And so when you begin to look at the game of life like that, and you attune your mind to that state of being, of consciousness, then you win. And you take and separate yourself from all of those attachments and realize, just like the Christ conscious one did, look, I'm about my father's business. Meaning, I'm about me tapping into the highest version of me so I could excel and move on to other realms, other dimensions in my life. The unfoldment of myself, of my Christ consciousness. Let me see if I'm missing um, some comments up in here. What is this here? 
Yeah, I have a lot of bad dreams. Yeah, I read that one. Okay. All right. Oh, all these comments are... Oh, there we go. No. I love you. Hey, Perry. Love you back, babe. Yes, Queen. Hey, Trinelled. Dylan? Am I saying that right? Trinelle. Trinelle. Hi, entertain. Hi. Hi, B Dot. You look so good. Oh, thank you, babe. Thank you, Asia. Hi, um, look at her. One, two, three, four on oh, my clock. God is love night. Love and light. My favorite auntie better tell him. That's so funny. Look at her fire self. Oh, thank you, baby. Hard to hear you come closer. Whatever lawyer dude, I know what you all about. Hello, beautiful person. Hey, babe. Hello, hello, hello. Miss Nubian Queen, thank you for being here. Okay, I just wanted to um, check all the uh, comments and just talk to y'all for a minute before I finish the rest of my day. I'm so thankful for all of you all for being here, for supporting me. Check out my YouTube channel too. Last night, it was kind of late, but I uploaded, I think I did four. Four of nine videos that I created while I was on my journey of manifesting, you know, early retirement and um, move to another state. And so along my journey, I practice not speaking or telling people what you're trying to manifest, but I did do some videos during that time and um, I saved them and I really just thought about them on yesterday. And so I started to post them and I'll be posting the other five. I posted four yesterday and I got five more that I want to post on today. And so if you're really serious about manifesting, you know, sometimes, like I said, I went to the Barnes and Noble and I listened or well, read books then. Listening to other people that already been to places that you're trying to go and perfect like your manifestation, your thought process, that really helps. It was really a helpful tool too because they are everybody in the journey on the same frequency. So there are people that um that already done been through maybe something that you're trying to go through, whether it is health and wellness, manifesting, you know, prosperity or whatever. And so if you're on that journey, I encourage you to check out my um my uh youtube channel and learn and grow with me you know because we all really going to the same place <laughs> so let me see let me check this one more time yes guys you look good thank you thank you thank you i love you all right good afternoon what's your youtube name it's sort of the earth publishing on um, divine if you click on my profile picture here on tiktok the black uh, little triangle button and bring you right there to my YouTube channel and I pull in then go to videos the last four videos is me sitting in a car this was in the month of August of last year August actually after um, the last hurricane August 29th hurricane Ida that night I started manifesting putting in my mind going to sleep living in the end and on November 11th my manifestation unfold in front of me but I was diligent about it I focused on my thought every day and you can too you can give whatever it is that you want this way because your God and, 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 and your human power your natural innate ability is being a natural powerful manifester and you manifest through thought thought by thought by thought and so I just showed you on those um, videos how I did it you tweak it you do it your way whatever works for you but Anyway, I just wanted to leave that for my reflections because I know that we're all connected and when I move, you move. And so my idea of that is if I keep expanding, if I keep being um, uh, limitless, then I grow. And so if, if I teach you, then that means you grow. And so since when I move, you move, we all create another world. This is how I see it. So I want, I want you to move too now because I don't want you way down here stopping the, the collective from going up, you know? So when I move, I want you to move. And then, then we all can move. Then we can create some more worlds. And then we can move some more mountains. And then we can be more powerless. That's how I look at it. Anyway, this video was from my heart to yours, baby. Be blessed. Have a good day, y'all.